Good evening, everyone. I am, we are so happy to have you here. Thank you for coming to celebrate with our daughter, wife, sister, aunt, so on and so forth. To, she's many things to many people. But we thank you for being here. You have come to celebrate with us an accomplishment, a great accomplishment, even greater than we realize that it is. Look and see what God has done. The Bible tells us that we are to rejoice we are to consider one another. Look not on the things of your own, but look on the things of somebody else's. Tonight is her night of celebration. And I just thank you so much for being here to celebrate with her. Tonight, I would like to share with you just a little bit of history about Sister Deborah. Now, I was in the kitchen cooking and about, she was about 12 years of age and she just came in the kitchen and asked me a question. She said, Mommy, would God bless me to play the piano if I got saved? And I said, well, we don't need to come to God bargaining. However, there is a scripture that says, if you delight yourself in the Lord, He will give you the desires of your heart. Now, I have been praying for Sister Deborah. She was 12 years old, and I felt like God wanted to save her before she got 13, those teen years. Now I was real specific. I began praying, asking the Lord to not only save her while she was yet 12, but I'd ask God, I don't want you to bless her. I want her to know music. I want her to, to worship and to understand how to read and to read music, that she can offer this as a sacrifice to you and anoint her, not just the gift of playing and melodious, I, not only that, but I wanted her to be anointed, his approval, his presence in her life, that she could make a difference, to be effective for the purpose that he had saved her. I think it was November the 1st, 1970 three or four months before the year was out, before her next birthday. And as I prayed, I think it's three, four months left. The Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, came in and saved Sister Debbie, or Sister Debbie. <laughs> Praise God. After she had gotten saved, she, the Holy Spirit, led her up to the piano. Now before he led her up, usually I take the children to church with me or I'll leave them with my sister, Mrs. Burnell Price, who is like a second mother to them, my dear sister. And, but this time, I, I, I didn't leave everybody. I brought Deb with me. What was different about this night of church, because we always went to church on Tuesday, was the difference was that this was the night that God had chosen to answer her prayer. Sister Deborah got up walked down the aisle, went up to the piano, and sat down and began to play. 
praise God for the great things that he has done. As I said, it was about four months before 13. So she did get saved and he blessed her to play the piano. Now after that she would make her way over to a piano if we were around and someone had one. She'd make her way over there and try to, you know, hit me, play on it. But then, one day we came home and her father had bought us a piano. That was a glorious time. That was, it was such a surprise. A brand new piano. And this was a, a, a surprise because everybody, just about everybody, played in the, in the family. <laughs> so we just thank God for the great things he's done. Now, Sister Deb, although she was saved now, okay, however, I was still yet concerned because I would tell the Lord I didn't see her, even though she was saved, but I never saw her pull aside, even though we had family devotions and, 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 and prayer life, I never seen her as a young saved person pulling aside, spending time, special time, with she and just Jesus alone, seeking his face. I wasn't too pleased with that, so I started praying a different way that she would do that. And the next thing I know, they brought Debbie home from church and she was the, the, the Holy Spirit. I believe she had been filled with the Holy Spirit. She was speaking in tongues and praying and they set her in the chair beside my bed where she spoke just about throughout the whole night and we rejoiced. It was a glorious, wonderful time. Sister Deb was filled with the Holy Spirit and after school she began to de develop her own personal time with the Lord. And one thing that I, I learned and I found out she was having a 6 a.m. prayer that we had discussed I had forgotten about. But however, she was seeking the Lord at 6 a.m. Just as God would have many of you. You're never too young. You're never too old. Start seeing it's where it is at. You'll find rest for your soul. You'll find the will of God for your life. Praise God. Now, this is some of the history behind time in His presence. It started a long time ago and it is yet continuing. So now, as we come to celebrate tonight, would you stand with me and let's give God a great praise, handshake, a dance. If you want to stand on your head, you can do it. But praise God, give him glory and honor for the great thing he has done. Hallelujah. God, I praise and I give you glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God.